Howdy. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about spheres, but before we talk about spheres, there's a couple of things that we need to get down first before we start getting into some practice problems. And the first things that I want to go over are the distance and midpoint formula. So let's say we're given um, two points. So let's say we'll call it uh, uh, x naught, y naught, z naught, and another point we'll call it x1, y1, and z1. Okay, so. Given two random points, I want to find the distance and the midpoint between them. Well, distance is going to be the square root of x1 minus x0 squared plus y1 minus y0 squared plus z1 minus z0 squared. This is how you're going to find the distance between two points. And as for the midpoint, midpoint is going to be x1 plus x0 over 2, you're in essence just finding the middle between the x's, the y's, and the z's. And so this will be y1 plus y0 over 2, and then z1 plus z0 over 2. Okay, And so that would be the midpoint. So let's do an example of that real quick so we can see that in practice. If I want to find the distance and midpoint between the following, distance is going to be the square root of, and we'll call this my initial point, and we'll call this the x1, y1, z1. So this is going to be the x1 minus x0 squared, so 4 minus 1. And then i got to do the y's, so plus 5 minus 1 squared, plus, and then doing the z's, it's going to be 6 minus 0 squared, which will be the square root. Uh, let's see, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 squared, that's 9. Plus, here it's going to be 4, 4 squared is 16, plus, and then here 6 squared is 36. And whenever we add all these together, 9 and 6 is 25, and then that's just going to be at least 61 if I can do math correctly. Okay, so the distance between these two guys are the square root of 61. And if I want to find the midpoint, the midpoint, it's basically going, basically going to be the average between the x's, the y's, and the z's. And so, this would be 4 plus 1 over 2. And then for the y's, okay, doing the y's, it's going to be 5 plus 1 over 2. And then doing the z's, okay, doing the z's is going to be 6 plus 0 over 2. Which, I'm just going to get, um, let's see, this first one's going to be 5 halves. And then here's 6 over 2, it's 3. And then here's 6 over 2, it's 3. All right, so that's how you find the distance and midpoint. Okay, very important to, do, uh, to know how to do that, and we'll talk about how to utilize it within practice problems in just a sec. Now, we also need to know the general formula of a sphere. Now, if you're given, if you're given some center, and we'll call this center uh, the point ABC, okay, and some radius, some radius which we'll just call R, Okay, given the center and the radius of a sphere, what you're going to do, your general formula, is going to be x minus a squared plus y minus b squared plus z minus c squared, and that's equal to r squared. And this is going to be the general formula for any sphere. Now, the last thing that I want to go over, the last preliminary stuff that we need to know how to do before we start getting some practice problems is how to complete the square. So I'm just going to kind of make up some random numbers. Let's do um, x squared plus 2x uh, plus y squared minus 4y plus z squared plus 6z um, is equal to 10. I don't know. Okay. So... Given this equation, we want to complete the square, and here's the thing, here's a little secret, it's actually pretty easy, it's a one-step problem, or process, I, I promise, okay? So, the way that um, I like to do it, is you're going to insert this template. The template that I'm going to insert is you're going to have x plus or minus something squared, plus y plus or minus something squared, plus z plus or minus something squared, is equal to... Don't forget to drop whatever constants on the right side, so we'll do that 10. And then plus, we're going to put three parentheses, and we're going to square these parentheses on this side. So this is the template that you'll insert every single time that you want to complete the square. How it goes inside these parentheses. Well, what goes inside these parentheses is the number that you get 
when you divide uh, what I like to call the middle term, like here the x term, whenever you divide this by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So not only will a 1 go in this slide, a 1 is going to go in that slide as well. And you're going to do that for the y and for the z too. So dividing this y term, here the negative 4, the negative 4 divided by 2 is a negative 2. So I'll put a negative 2 in both of those slots. And then as for the z, you divide that by 2. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So 3 goes in this slide. And now that you have that, you're basically done. Your final answer uh, would be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared plus z plus 3 squared is equal to, here, 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 4. Remember, negative squared is 4. So plus 4 is 15 plus 9 is 24. Okay. So now that we have the foundations down, now that we have the basics down, now I feel comfortable actually doing a couple of practice problems. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a couple of practice problems here, um, pretty common ones that you would see normally. And let's take a look at number one. Number one says find the equation of a sphere if one of its diameters has the endpoints 1, 2, 0 and 7, negative 2, 5. We'll talk strategy on this. A, a diameter is basically something that goes through the center and touches the edge of the sphere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. And then we're going to pretend it's a pretty circle and we're going to pretend that it's three-dimensional. Now, what do I need to find the equation of a sphere? What I need to find the equation of a sphere is I need a center and I need a radius. And what did they give me? Well, they gave me endpoints to a diameter. So we call this point right here 1, 2, 0, and we'll call this point out here 7, negative 2, 5. And we know, because it's a diameter, that it's actually going to go through the center. And how can I find the center? Well, isn't the center of this just the midpoint between these two? And so that's how I'm going to find the center. The center is going to be the midpoint between these two points. And so, let's go ahead and do that. For the center, the center is going to be, uh, let's see, this will be 7 plus 1 over 2. And then for the y's, it's going to be negative 2 plus 2 over 2. And then for the z's, it'll be 5 plus 0 over 2. Which, here 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 over 2 is 4. And then here that's going to be 0, and here that's going to be 5 halves. And so what I've successfully done is I've found the center of the sphere, 4, 0, five halves. Okay, well that's cool, but I still not only need a center, I need a radius as well. And I can find the radius by finding the distance between two points. And it actually doesn't matter which two, well, it doesn't matter which endpoint you use, okay? The distance between one of the endpoints and the center is going to be my radius. I'm going to go ahead and just use this one. It's got smaller numbers. I believe it's probably going to be easier to deal with mathematically. So let's go ahead and find the distance between these two points. So my radius, my r, will be the distance between these guys. And so, if you remember our distance formula, this is going to be dealing with the x's. This will be 4 minus 1 squared plus, and then dealing with my y's, this is going to be 0 minus 2 squared plus, and then my z's, it's going to be 5 halves minus 0 squared. All that under a square root. And so r will be the square root. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 squared, that's 9. Plus, here, negative 2 squared, that's 4. Plus, and then here, 5 halves squared is 25 over 4. Which, let's see, we know that 9 plus 4 is 13. So 13 plus 25 over 4. Which, whenever we do this, here, 4 times 13, that's 40 plus 12, that's 52. And 52 plus 25, that's going to be 77 over 4. And so this is your radius. Now that I have my center, now that I have my radius, you can find your equation. And as a reminder, what was that equation? Once you have your center, once you have your radius, you're just going to plug it into here. And so, plugging it into that formula, our final answer, the equation of the following sphere, is going to be x minus 4 squared plus, uh, here, y minus 0, that's just y 
squared. Sorry for the ugly looking y plus, and then the z, and z is going to be z minus 5 halves squared. And this is equal to r squared. Be careful. If r, the distance, is the square root of 77 over 4, r squared is just 77 over 4. And so this would be the equation of the following sphere. That's why it's important to understand how to find the distance in the midpoint and then just read your scenario and then utilize those tools to find the center and the radius. Let's take a look at one more, okay? Another type of problem that you're going to see is you might need to complete the square in order to find the equation center and radius of the sphere. But notice how it's not exactly in the form that I had over here on that first page. On that first page, the x's were next to each other, the y's were next to each other, the z's were next to each other, and I had the constant on the right side of the equal sign. So before I even begin, what I need to do is put it in that form, that way I can go ahead and complete the square. And so let's go ahead and put the x's together. So I'm going to have an x squared minus 2x. Uh, the y's, uh, well, just a y squared, just by himself again y squared. Uh, for the z's, we're going to have plus z squared plus 4z. And then I have a negative 4 here, so just move that negative 4 over to the other side. And that's 4. Now that I have it in that form, let's go ahead and put in our template. So you're going to have x plus or minus something squared plus, well, notice there's no extra y term. And so I already know that this is going to be a y squared. Plus, and then z plus or minus something squared is equal to, don't forget to drop your constant, plus something squared plus something squared. I only have two this time. I only have two parentheses over here. Now let's figure out what goes in each parentheses. Well, what goes in each parentheses is what I get for the x. So let's, let's divide the x term by 2. So the negative 2 divided by 2 uh, is just negative 1. So I'll put a negative 1 in there. And then uh, for the z, for the z, we'll divide this 4 by 2. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. So 2. And so your final answer, so if I want the equation of a sphere, the equation is going to be x minus 1 squared plus y squared plus z plus 2 squared is equal to, we'll see, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then plus 4 is 9. So here is my equation. Now as for my center, my center is going to be, be careful, because remember your a, the center like this x term is a, that's being subtracted. And so because it's x minus 1 squared on the inside right here, the x coordinate of your center is a positive 1. Okay. As for the y, there's 0 inside, and here that's a negative 2 for the z. The way that I remembered it is just the inside lies to you, that's just the way I remembered it, and it's just kind of stuck ever since. Now, as for my radius, you also got to be a little careful. Remember, once again, in the equation, this is equal to r squared. And r squared is equal to 9. Since r squared is equal to 9, your r is equal to 3. And that's how you're going to deal with spheres.